As we commemorate the event that was launched in 1820, it is important to remember that while we, we revere Joseph Smith as a prophet of God, this is not the church of Joseph Smith, nor is it the church of Mormon. This is the church of Jesus Christ. He decried exactly what his church should be called. Quote, For thus shall my church be called in the last days, even the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Close quote. I have spoken previously about a needed course correction in the way we refer to the name of the church. To help us remember him and to identify the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as the Lord's Church, we are pleased to introduce a symbol that will signify the central place of Jesus Christ in his church. This symbol includes the name of the church contained within a cornerstone. Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone. At the center of the symbol is a representation of Torvaldson's marble statue, the Christus. It portrays the resurrected living Lord reaching out to embrace all who will come unto him. Symbolically, Jesus Christ is standing under an arch. The arch reminds us of the resurrected Savior emerging from the tomb on the third day following his crucifixion. This symbol should feel familiar to many as we have long identified the restored gospel with the living, resurrected Christ. Travis Wayne Goodsell. It's one of those mornings that feels like a Monday. And yet it's Sunday. The new Monday. So. Got uh, the video contending against the great and abominable and uh, <clears throat> I was going to get it to you last night but the other video came up and too late at night so that's coming and if you were watching this video you already have it so uh, Joseph Smith history 140 he quoted also the third chapter of Acts, precisely as they stand. And that's referring to Deuteronomy, but it says, utterly destroyed, rather than cut off, as Joseph Smith has it. He says that that, that prophet was Christ. But the day had not yet come when they who would not hear his voice should be cut off. It's supposed to be utterly destroyed from among the people. But soon would come. And so there's some questions that those who are going to do serious study and research need to ask. Who is this Christ? And if you believe in Jesus, dear God, why am I wasting my time with you? Why are you coming to my video videos if you don't know how to comprehend the first vision? Because even I comprehended that it was talking about Christianity. And so then I was kind of confused. Well, it doesn't say Jesus, it just says personage. But at least all Mormons should understand that we're not supposed to be Christian. That I knew as a kid. And so I don't understand why Mormons can't understand that much. I guess they are ashamed of the Gospel of Mormonism and would rather be in favor of the gospel of Christianity. So when this day is referring to the precise latter days, not the general latter days that began with Joseph Smith and blah, blah, blah. No, there's a specific 
time frame that we're looking at. So we need to ask ourselves, when is this time frame for this instance? And if you are doing your study, you'll notice that the Book of Mormon talks about the Book of Revelation. And the Book of Revelation has star dates for a birth date and a death date. Just like the Book of Mormon has a birth date and a death date. And we are in the age now where we can obtain stellarium programs. We can have a Urim and Thummim all to ourselves so that we can uh, be revelators and reveal the signs in the heavens. You know, would that all were revelators. <laughs> it's Moses talking about prophets. Would that all were prophets. <clears throat> and so you would know that the start and end date, 23rd September 2017, end date 8 April 2024. And knowing those dates, knowing what events on earth and the particular signs in the heavens they are, you'll know the location on earth. And so we got an extra added bonus by just learning to find out when the date would be. And so now we know it's America that's involved. This is where the center of attention will be in the latter days. And we're in it. We got two more years left, don't we? Less than two more years. <clears throat> okay, so that means he should already be here. And it's not Jesus, right? So who is he? That's the next thing. Mormons now need to find out who is he. And Obviously, you've read Deuteronomy through this chain, and so then you know about Doctrine and Covenants, section 103, verse 16, talking about the redemption of Zion. And therefore, I will raise up unto my people. So he's talking about a Mormon, a male Mormon, ray a drop of golden sun, me a name I call myself who shall lead them like as Moses the children of Israel well there's the Deuteronomy connection a man like Moses for the latter days and if you're going to impose religious bias you're going to be wrong you've got to dismiss all your religious bias you've got to embrace science logic and English English grammar because you're going to include interpretations that do not exist from the wording in the text I mean, do we need to go over Moroni chapter 10 verse 3 through 5 and how Mormons have screwed that one up completely I mean, dear God guys look up the word manifest it's a physical witness So, but how can a physical witness be from the Holy Ghost? Oh my God! <laughs> By their fruits you shall know them. What's a fruit? Is it a seed? No. It's the end result of a fruit, or a seed. Fruit is the end result of a seed. Not a complicated gospel, and yet everybody screws it up. Because the deity does not exist. But uh, Joseph Smith is saying he's a Mormon. That's what he's saying. It's not me. If you guys can't understand who my people Joseph is referring to, you've got problems. I recommend finding a tutor or go and get your GED. Finish that up. It would really benefit you. And so this is the Christ that Joseph Smith was talking about, that that prophet was Christ. Do you see the connection? This isn't me, and yet I'm going to get hate 
comments. I'm gonna get death threats. I'm gonna get thumbs down. Not just the one person who's stalking me and who thinks it's funny because nobody else sees the thumbs down and they don't have an effect on my thing because they're not popular, nobody likes them and so they're not cutting me off from the majority of the people. My thousand plus view video demonstrated that they have no power over me. They're just wasting their time stalking me. Nonetheless, it goes on to say that Mormons need to be let out of bondage. So Joseph Smith is now prophesying that Mormons will be in bondage in this time period right now. Are you Mormons or is Joseph a false prophet? Take your pick. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> See, ex-Mormons would say, oh, he's a f f wait, false prophet? But that means the church is true. <laughs> So even got you, ex-Mormons. <laughs> you guys are trapped now. Is Joseph Smith true? Or is this church the great and abominable church? Take your pick. And so, yeah. It's this church. So this church is the great and abominable church. How do we know this? Well, gee, the Book of Mormon is very graphic and detailed as to how to identify the great and abominable church. And the first vision tells us who's the great and abominable Christ of the great and abominable church, and thus we know the name of the great and abominable church. And Joseph Smith even prophesies, as Nelson got up and said it. <laughs> Hilarious! Because he says in verse 3, Council of my church in Zion. My church. Whose church? Amen. The church of Amen, Christ in Zion. That's the Zion name of the church. For thus it shall be called. Shall? What tense is that? Future tense. And so, uh, verse 4 is what Nelson was quoting. For thus shall, future tense, my church be called in the last days. Right now, the great and abominable church. Just went over it with you. If you need to write things down, take notes, go ahead and do so. Even the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The whole purpose of the 1838 historical text, which is Messianic literature, was to show you that this is not the name of the Church. But yet, Nelson, should I put it in? <laughs> should I? Nelson's going to be pissed. I've humiliated him on everything. Every time Nelson speaks, he's always doing something stupid, saying something stupid. Oh, yeah, i got to do a what to expect for LDS October 2022 General Conference. Assuming that the federal government doesn't do their job quick enough. Uh, Nelson name of church he even goes over it and says if you don't call it by the right name it's not the right church hilarious and then I think that's the one where he goes on to talk about the chief cornerstone of the cornerstone <laughs> dear god my kingdom for a president of a church they can translate he sucks so bad as a translator, and Mormons can't catch it, because they aren't translators. <sighs> Dear God. I talked with some Hebrew scholars from BYU, and they said that I can make up a white supremacist definition of let God prevail, rather than Yah, the Hebrew God, Prince of Yah God. The birthright blessing for the seed of Messiah, the mortal man whom Joseph Smith says is a Mormon. <clears throat> and so, yes, we now know the great and abominable church. We now know which church he's going to come out of to save those Mormons. So it's not the community of Christ. 
Sorry, teacher in Zion. Everybody thinks they're a messiah these days. <laughs> He's even going against the community of Christ, creating his own church. And he... he oh, God. I do not like facial hair. It itches like crazy and it's bristle. Urgh. You can use me to scrub off dinner. And as long as I can shave afterwards, I'd be fine. Just the one time. Oh, God. Okay, so we know the time frame of when he's going to be. We know who he is. And so what is he warning about? Well, yeah, the great and abominable church. But there's more. There's signs in the heavens he needs to let you know about. So that you can be aware. Um, which is it 38? I'm gonna have to search for it. Oh man, uh, it's baptized signs. And 39:23. And so those who get baptized receive the gift of the Holy Ghost and shall be looking forth for the signs of his coming and shall know him because the signs are type and shadow of him for I come quickly even so amen you notice they don't say in the name of Jesus Christ amen I mentioned that in this video I think it's this video or was it the other video no, I don't know. I mentioned it at the end of one of the videos. I need to stop doing long videos. It's getting me farther and farther behind. Because I'm not able to do, for example, I need to go over Egyptian uh, picture scenes and include those characters in Signless and have them put up on Academia and eventually make a book and such. But. But yeah, the facsimiles that we have, you have the text, but then you have the bigger picture characters. Those are not in the sign list. Those need to be put in the sign list because they can be translated. They are to be translated. I deciphered them. That's why I know they need to be translated. I've done the translation of those characters in the facsimiles and many other things. They need to be translated. You know, the the uh, simple scene of the Heliopolis creation glyph, which all of you understand what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> it's just three characters. You have the si uh, sister or daughter Nut, you have father uh, Shu, and son brother Geb. And that's Genesis chapter 1. That's the whole translation of Genesis chapter 1. And that's even just Genesis chapter 1 is just a partial translation of just those three characters in those positions that they're in. That's how condensed of knowledge Egyptian is. And how you don't need much in regards to plates, Egyptian gold plates, <laughs> to tell a story. But those characters are not rendered in any sign list except maybe not let's waste your time <laughs> but yes you're looking for somebody who knows like Joseph Smith and Moses both Hebrew and Egyptian so look for this guy he's supposed to save your life from utter destruction if you listen the prophecy that we're going to get to in section 45 of the Doctrine and Covenants says that Mormons are going to mock and scold and try to catch him in sin and lies and blah 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 like a Benedite. Uh, gardeners sign list. God. I pressed it. Give me grief.
Okay, where's the deities? Put those. This needs to be redone. Yeah, she's not here. Less, she's not listed. Not 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 Geb. Uh, not even Shu. None of them are listed. Because you have C1 to C12, and then you have a gap, and then C17 to C20. But it's not going to have all of the characters that are necessary in those four missing places. So that's what I'm referring to. Uh, there's specific translations that need to be made with the characters that are written. Okay. <clears throat> and so all Mormons are looking for the signs. I happened to talk about some signs yesterday and earlier last week. Nobody cared. It made national news and you don't care? <sighs> Why am I wasting my time? It's like I, I tell God, my second ex, what are you doing putting her back in my life? She's not interested. She's stuck with the church. She's not leaving the church. What are you doing? She did save me, though. So that could be it. Now that she saved me, she's finished, and away she goes. I don't know. But yeah, she has been a shield and a protection to me against the power of the destroyer. Until I finish my work on the earth. <laughs> That's what a wife is good for. If she's God. Alright, section 45, right? There's several things that are coming here. And after Joseph Smith tells us that this is not literal, that he's writing after the manner of the prophets of the Bible, which is not literal. <clears throat> Here we've got one that would cause utter destruction. Verse 31, And there shall be men standing in that generation that shall not pass until they shall see an overflowing scourge for a desolating sickness shall cover the land. Hmm. Yep. People will lift up their voices, curse God, and die. I think that's utter destruction, don't you? And then earthquakes, sonic booms from meteors, and sword, violence. Huh, yeah, like a civil war? Hmm. <clears throat> Wonder what's coming soon. You know they want any excuse to start it. You know they're waiting. They're drooling. Do it. Do it. Lock them up. Do it. Lock them up. They've already got people armed at, at the FBI headquarters around this nation. I can't remember which state it was. Arizona, I think it was, where they had armed militia at the FBI headquarters there yesterday. And, and so, yeah, it, there shall be blood, fire, smoke. And there's the tetrad. It says, before that day, sun shall be darkened, moon turned to blood, stars fall from heaven. That's what I've talked about, is those three together is the full tetrad, with a solar, lunar, and falling stars. We're in it right now. We were in it in 2014, 2015. Here's this one within the time frame. <clears throat> and if you're wondering, oh, there's a God and he's all powerful and his name is Jesus. No, I've told you, Albert Pike told us, the church told us, William Morgan tried to tell us, it's now in the Book of Mormon that's telling us. The enemy purposely are fulfilling biblical prophecy to destroy us, destroy Christianity. That's why the church is bringing Joseph and the Book of Mormon along to destroy them. That's why they keep pushing Jesus. And so, yeah, with all these troubles, this is what he's talking to you about. You need to hearken to him so that you're not utterly destroyed. And I already see what's happening. 
with Mormons in the manner in which they treat me. They don't believe. They avoid my videos. When they see my video and click on it, they put a thumbs down and run away. Don't bother to listen. They mock. They scorn. They bear false witness of Jesus. They get angry and violent. Send death threats. They're not hearkening. And so, yeah, I, I doubt they're going to weep. Verse 53, Mormons shall weep because of their iniquities. So I, I, I just don't see that. Instead, I see section 1, verse 16. That's 14, 15, and 16, technically. It's right there at the end. They're not giving heed to the words of the prophets and apostles shall be cut off. So he's putting it in the plural. But he's referring prior to Brigham Young, obviously, in this church, because this is a great abominable church. You cannot impose this church in here. That's an anachronism. <coughs> and so what you have is that Deuteronomy warning right here in 14, with the cutoff from the Joseph Smith history rather than utterly destroyed. And so 15. Here's where it's obviously Mormon. They have strayed from mine ordinances. They have broken mine everlasting covenant. If you're not under the law, you are not held responsible for the law. You are held only responsible for the law you are living. We know this. If you're a terrestrial, you'll be judged by the terrestrial law. If you're telestial, you'll be judged by the telestial law. If you're celestial, you'll be judged by the celestial law. So it's Mormons here. And so Mormons seek not the Lord. But they're talking about Jesus all the time. They're getting up in testimony meeting and crying and saying, I love Jesus. Look, Mormon is so literally true. Aren't you? <clears throat> You're not hearkening to the true Christ of Mormons, who's supposed to come out of the great and abominable church. And so they're not being righteous. Every Mormon walks in their own way. They do their own thing. Right? I see you do that. You're doing your own thing. You're not even listening to the prophets that you claim are true. After the image of his own God. That's what you do when you're doing your own thing. You're creating your own God who's giving you approval to do what you want to do as your own will. And that's why Christianity doesn't understand this concept. They all claim that it's Jesus, but they're all different churches with different rituals and interpretations of scripture. That's not one Christ. That's multiple Christs. So the Baptists have their thing, and they do immersion baptisms. I think all of them do, don't they? And that's why they're called Baptists, is because they know the translation of baptism is immersion. Like the Catholics who who uh, baptize babies with a christening but with water instead of oil see how they screwed up they got they screwed up the translations and to justify the change in rituals that differ and so is that important does Jesus care Christians say no <laughs> because they're doing their own will <laughs> didn't come from Jesus. Jesus has no scripture that says, yeah, do whatever you want. No, he says you must be baptized. And that means immersion. So the Catholic Church isn't true. But the Baptists came from the Catholics. So the Baptists aren't true because you can't have good fruit from bad seed. Can't be done. And Christianity doesn't get it. So if they can, if the Reformed churches all claim they're the one true church, but they claim through the Catholic Church, which is corrupt. Sorry, guys, you're corrupt, too. You have to be a Restoration Church, not a Reformation Church. But, uh... And here's the destruction part. Shall perish in Babylon, even Babylon the Great, which shall fall. 
Oh, it didn't get decoded for the 1981 edition, did it? What is Babylon then? Yeah, the great and abominable church. So Mormons are going to perish in the great and abominable church. That's the whole thing. I've told you. I've warned you. Seek the true Christ. So you don't perish in this church because they're going to destroy it. And uh, Harold B. Lee changed the Articles of Incorporation in 1973 that says once we destroy this church, this is what we're going to do with the money. <laughs> and it allows for offshore bank accounts to not be touched. They've funneled trillions of dollars into the offshore accounts that I've exposed. That's why they're pissed. That's why they want me dead. That's why I'm here. That's why this place wasn't even good enough and they tried to secretly evict me from this place one Sunday not too long ago. Has it been two weeks now? Three Sundays ago or two Sundays, two or three Sundays ago? That was when Karen saved me. We went out for a walk that night. I come back and I said, hey, you're not listed on here. That means you didn't check in. I did check in and so I was saved. But if I had stayed here and didn't go for the walk with Karen, yeah, no shield and protection against the power of the destroyer until I finished my work on the earth. And then they were pissed. <laughs> so they sent the other storage unit that I have to come and get me and deny my property from me. Dear God, what is taking the federal government so long to investigate receipts? It's like I hand the whole case to them and they still can't do it. They have to investigate. Well, let's let's check this receipt. <laughs> oh my god. I'm dying here. Can't you just oh, throw them in jail until you figure it all out? That's what they do to us. You know, we are accused of breaking the law. We get thrown in jail. And if we can't afford bail, we're stuck in jail. And then they take advantage of us and try to extort us to say, hey, we'll let you out. If you just plead guilty, we'll lower the charges. You know, the judge may do it. It's your first offense. But then it stays on your record. <laughs> and then you're screwed for life. Why can't they do that to the rich elite? Only to us little people, huh? So we're supposed to trust the justice system? Dear God. And so yeah, that's what it's all about, guys. That's why I'm warning you. That's why I'm exposing the church of their crimes. Because <clears throat> he's going to be humble. <laughs> sort of. The thing is, with Jesus, people say that he was the most humble man he is perfectly humble. And yet he goes, I am the Lord. Worship me. <laughs> and if you're thinking about it, the people are like, get out of here. <laughs> you ain't humble. You're, you're prideful. And that's what they would accuse him of. You know, people who know person don't know how to judge righteously <clears throat> they judge by the outward appearance so yes being humble is being honest uh, there's the volumes of poems by a Mormon and I met him while I was working as a, a, a veil worker in the South Jordan temple <clears throat> and uh, uh, I searched for him after I uh, was introduced to him uh, on Amazon noticed he didn't have an author page so I asked him about it I know she didn't have an author page on Amazon and he says well I, I want to be humble I don't want to <sighs> no guys you screwed up the definition of humble letting people know who you are is necessary for referencing but uh, 
there, there's a big difference between promoting yourself versus promoting your works people can judge your works whether they are good or bad and so when you promote your works yeah people can go oh okay yeah that pretty good set of poems I like that five stars you know but uh, when you start focusing on you rather than your works because people need to be able to judge by your works and if you're refusing to let people judge you by your works we now judge you so, so that's pretty much it this is what you're supposed to do you need to <clears throat> know the time frame that Joseph Smith is talking about. You need to know who is supposed to be warning you. And you need to find out what the warnings are going to be about. And then, of course, you need to hearken to save yourself. And I had an ass who didn't get it. it was purposely being abusive. Because I used to talk about the drought say hey there's a drought coming guys if there's an event if there's an event that causes a forced exodus let's all meet at the Green River uh, off-ramp with the uh, 91 is it uh, and the 70 that connects so the one from Provo coming down to the 70 and then the 70 coming from the south and goes straight across east. I was trying to provide a meeting place. If. If. And uh, then Fox 13 News Utah came out with a news article not too long thereafter and said that the Green River had dried up. But uh, this guy didn't catch on. We weren't forced out. We're being tortured to be kicked out ourselves. That's what evil does. They torture you so that you make the choice. And then they can say, hey, it wasn't us. It was you. You made the choice. So that's why there's a housing shortage. That's why there's pollution. That's why there's the drought and fires and and violence and crimes and uh, what other things do we have going on that they're doing to us the economy and the virus yeah they're purposely purging us and for the most part the majority of us can't leave I can't leave I'd have to walk I can't take my possessions I tried carrying the 200 pound Egyptian gold plates with me when I got evicted. <laughs> I didn't last long. And so, yeah, we need transportation. Like a hand cart, at least. And we, you just, when you're this poor, you just can't do that kind of stuff. You can't just pick up in your car, if you have one, and just leave. You need money because you got to pay for gas along the way. You got to pay for places to stay unless you do tent things. And so this is what they know. They're holding us here in bondage in Utah and they're torturing us, making it so miserable for us and saying, well, if you don't like it, leave. And they know we can't leave. That's what they did to me in the other place. Well, if you don't like it, leave. No, I'm like, I'll leave. I don't have to leave. trying to murder me and I did the videos and they were upset quit exposing us <laughs> screw you You're trying to murder me we want you out you can't it's illegal so I don't know maybe you guys don't care maybe you want to be in bondage for the rest of your life maybe you love worshiping Satan but then just be honest tell everybody hey we've been lying to you it's not Jesus it's actually Lucifer because it's his plan of happiness that we're following 
and demand that you follow it too. But that's the whole thing. You can't put other people into bondage. So if you want to be the Church of Lucifer Christ, great. But don't ask us, or don't demand that we accept you as Jesus. Don't ex demand that we join or be punished by you. And that's what you can't get over. And so, bearers of heavenly light, they're telling you who they are, and you're just not paying attention. You're not 